Let's bring in Illinois Democratic Congresswoman Jan Schakowsky. Uh, she's the House Senior Chief Deputy Whip. She's on the House Energy and Commerce Committee and has served in Congress for more than two decades. Thank you again uh, very much. And I know this vote is headed your way, so let's talk about this groundbreaking gun legislation. There hasn't been a bipartisan measure on gun control passed since the 90s. I've read that this particular bill includes a way to connect juvenile records with the national background check system. So do you know exactly how that would work to keep guns out of the hands of young offenders? Well, it would raise the age from um, 18 to 21 for enhanced uh, inspection and background checks for juveniles. Um, and that is because some of these 18 year olds, including in Uvalde, um, have been committing these uh, terrible crimes. And so raising the age is one of the things that it did for background checks. In terms of uh, this new uh, legislation, there were a number of things that Democrats wanted to see that are not included. Uh, things like uh, there's no ban on weapons at all. Uh, so in terms of what's next, has there been any thought about what needs to happen to additionally provide uh, more control or more safety in regards to gun violence? Yes, we are looking you, Adrian, this is a huge breakthrough. Um, we haven't seen, as you said, for 30 years, um, any action on, uh, on gun violence. And so we're feeling very optimistic that this opens the door. Yes, we would like to see assault weapons, for example, and most Americans agree off, uh, off of our streets. Why would we have these military style weapons in the hands of ordinary people who could kill you know, dozens of people in just a matter of seconds. Um, so yes, we want to, to go further. But the fact that we have 15 Republicans, you know, you heard the NRA griping about what was in the bill. The NRA has lost a lot of its juice right now. And, uh, and we're seeing that Republicans themselves are saying that we have to take action. And that's reflective of the American people who have been de demanding that we do something to keep our children and our streets safer. You know, the National Rifle Association did slam uh, the Senate's bill saying that it falls short at every level. But I want to get to the fact that at the same time that this legislation uh, was being passed through the Senate, the Supreme Court decision on the rights of registered gun owners in New York came down. Was this seen as overshadowing the history made here in the Senate? Or really, when I look at this, it's a gun rights issue versus a gun control issue. Well, actually, what I think it indicates is that the Supreme Court, this Supreme Court, is so out of touch with the American people. Um, you know, we're, we're seeing that in the abortion rights decision that is about to come out, which is against what the vast majority of Americans think. And I think it is also against what the vast majority of Americans believe about the need to control guns rather than loosen up the, uh, the ability of people to have them. Well, let's talk about the actual numbers. Um, and I happen to have them from 2014 to 2018, so I wish that they were a little more recent. But this is all according to the Crime Prevention Resource Center, because we want to give all sides to the story. In the state of Illinois, your state, uh, from those uh, that four-year period, Illinois had an average of about 189,000 active permits for guns. Over that same period, no one was convicted of committing a crime with their permitted concealed handgun. In the state of Wisconsin, uh, they actually, from 2011 to 2017, had an average of about 328,000 active permits. And over that period, only six permit holders, which is less than 0.5%, were convicted in the homicides the state actually uh, was able to track down. Is this a discussion that needs to be had? Because the people who have the permits are not the ones committing the violence. And yet some of this legislation say those who might agree more with the NRA than perhaps Democrats. Uh, is the discussion needing to be around how we keep guns out of the hands of violent offenders and criminals versus all gun holders? You know, there's no question about it, but I want to tell you something about Illinois. Well, we really do have very strong gun laws, but the vast majority of crimes are committed with guns that have come from out of state. We are surrounded by states that have very, very weak gun control legislation. Um, and, you know, we don't stop people at the border from Indiana where people can go and uh, go to a gun show and open up the trunk of their car and load it up 
with weapons that they bring across the uh, the border. That's why we need this national legislation. That's why this is a major step forward. And yes, we have to have more prosecutions. There's no question uh, uh, about it. Americans are demanding that. And I'm telling you, families, and I talk to a lot of families, especially after Uvalde, that are so afraid and they want to be able to tell their children that they're safe when they go to school. Doesn't everyone want to say that? And yet we can't. Um, and so this is this is a real breakthrough that we've seen today. And that bipartisan legislation, again, boosting school security measures and mental health resources. Congressman Schakowsky, thank you very much uh, for your time and for the conversation. Appreciate that so much. Thanks. Thank, thank you. Let's get a Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.